Right, seeing as everyone is getting bored at home with uh, self-isolating, I thought I would show you this fantastic piece of software that allows you to build up your own LiDAR images. So here is uh, some data. You know, this is the, uh, the DEFRA survey data download. And uh, what we need to do first of all with this fanti fantastic piece of software is here we have the Fosway. This is a Roman road, well known Roman road. It keeps on going there, look, but it's not, there's a bit of it there, but it goes across fields where it's not a an actual road anymore. Right, so, so what we need to do first of all is we need to download the, uh, the appropriate um, files so that we can use this program to show you how this uh, fantastic, and it really is fantastic, uh, piece of software works. Right, so we need to download the software. Well, first of all, we need to uh, uh, select an area. So I've gone with the polygon. Right, so you click on the map, you draw a line down, whatever, wherever you live, and you double click to finish. And there we go. So you end up with this section of the map, right? So then it says download your data. So you click the download thing and it will come up with the appropriate, hopefully, some appropriate data. It's doing its thing slowly. Too many people stuck at home online, I think. That's what it is. <laughs> oh, come on. Sometime this week would be nice. Ah, here we go. So we've got a section. Uh, so we've got LiDAR Composite DSM. That's what we want. Or is it? Hold on. No, tiles. Tiles. That's the best one. DSM tiles. So you click on that so you get all these downloads. Right, we've got 2013. That's the nearest one. And then there's 2005 to 1999. Right, so we're going to go with one meter. That's the only one that's available. And the latest version. Right, so yeah, we've got all these. So what we want to do is we want to click on that. And what it will do is it downloads it here in the bottom left hand corner on my computer anyway right and we need to oh show in folder and what that will do is it will download to a zip file what we need to do is we need to open the zip file here's the the zip file opened and i'm going to shift click to highlight both of the um, files and then we need to extract that to another file so here's the two extracted files here Fosway files right don't bother opening them it'll just be garbled rubbish so what we need to do is we need to minimize that now and we need to download and install a different program right this is the program we need to download QGIS that's what it's called. Uh, do not tell me what that stands for. Some sort of graph graphical interface. So we want to download now. And uh, you can get it on Windows. You can get it on Mac. You can get it on Linux. I'm using a Linux installation. Download form BSD. What's that? Anyway. I'm digressing. So you download the program and you install it. Now I've already got it downloaded and installed. So what I'm going to do now is open the program. All right, so all I, all I type on it is Q. There's not many programs starting with Q. And what we want is QGIS desktop. There's QGIS browser, uh, QGIS designer, QGIS settings. I don't know what half these things are. Anyway, we want browser. I've got 2.18 because it's uh, right. So it's opened the program. Here's the program opened, and yes, it looks very complicated and taught. Well, it is a very complicated program, but there are ways, more than one way, to skin a cat. So, 
what I need to do is we need to open that page back up and you highlight these two files and drag them over here bonk in they go and there's the two files now is the FOSS way on there hopefully it is if not this didn't work very well because I can't see any straight lines in there so that is this is the two bits of information we're looking for this is how it comes up it looks a bit odd to begin with right so what we need to do is you can see there's this line going across now on processing should click up processing toolbox see this thing here says merge double click that right this next page opens and up here we've got the two dots click that and uh, select all and click OK right and see that it says down here run click run and now it's merged it's merged those two uh, files you've got up here it says merged right click properties now what we want now is to this little one up here where it says render type you want heel shade click heel shade and OK that and bang you've now got heel shaded so we can zoom right in on this we get rid of this here by clicking that little cross we can now zoom right in and look at that for lidar that is like one meter little squares oh goodbye one meter little squares of information and this lidar is superior to the other lidars kind of i think i've gone in too far that's better and you can see every single little bump i don't think we've got the no we haven't got the uh the uh, uh foss way it seems not to have given us the foss way which is a bit of a shame but you can build up an image if you ever see these this this sort of funny line here look they drainage ditches on fields so what we're looking for is we're looking for some sort of an image that will show us that some old uh, field boundaries in there look probably really old Saxon even I'm gonna zoom through this so I can find anything that looks uh, ancient like Mm. Mm. Now, if you do come across a feature, oh, that's a town. Don't want to go there. <laughs> what we look at, look ah, what's that there? We see this line going through the field there. Like that looks interesting. There's another one over there at a funny angle. There's another one going through there. Now it could be some sort of uh, pipeline. Or it could be something really old but there's one thing you can do with this where it says merged over here right right click on it properties and you see this little this little thing here you can move it around so you can move around the sort of direction of the Sun looking at it so we move it over to here click OK and there we go it changes it so you can change it round to a different angle Ooh, that looks quite interesting these little bumps here and it, and you can download more tiles using that program where we gain the information from to you know increase the uh, the tiles around so just expand out and just add it to it drag and drop like before but yeah this is a much better detail on here than the lidar that you can get you know the house price and the lidar finder i think it's much better quality right so let's uh, move that sun round right click properties let's move it to the opposite direction 
oh, it's gone black. That's, that's now shaded it, look. But it's, it's brought up features on other fields. Oh, what's that there? I can see a, some sort of line going up through there. Could be a Roman road coming off of the other Roman road. You know, like a side turning. Oh, something there going off. That's a track. Farmer gate, farmer's gate there, I expect. But yeah, you can build up a picture. Drag and drop those over into there. Hopefully this will work. Oh, it did. I don't know why it keeps coming up with all this sort of error thing. Because it always seems to work. Oh, yeah, we got another bunch of tiles. And what you just you could just just keep on building up the, the tiles. So we want to merge that lot. Processing toolbox merged. Uh, select all. Okay, run. Processing algorithm. Oh, and there she glows. There she blows. Right, so we got merged. Right, we want two uh, properties and um, hill shade. Okay. And there we go. Now, it's got to be on here somewhere. The <laughs> fossil way. Um, so, I'm probably not quite. It's, it's somewhere else, but if you keep on building up and building up and building up, you eventually get there. It's probably best to have all the programs, um, all, all the rest of the programs. I've got, I've got way too much open up running. And it's probably taking a bit more time to uh, install. But anyway, you get the idea. You can zoom around. looking for some nice features that could be ancient ditches. Oh, we've got a little curve going around there. Probably not. See, that might be an old river channel. Oh, there's a back to those lines. Let's get down the page a bit. here but yeah look at the detail look at the details fantastic now don't ask me how you um, export this image oh look look at that there look that's an old little boundary that could be that that could be a ditch to a Roman fort So presumably we are somewhere near the Foss Way. <laughs> but, oh, look at that there, look. That's obviously um, modern because it's got hedged hedges on it, but part of someone's biggest state, I expect. But yeah, this is awesome. Oh, gone off the edge. Oh, I think we're into a built up area. So yeah, I, I haven't yet figured out how you export this image to, um, a, you know, export the image. Um, I haven't found a uh, online video tutorial of how to uh, do that. But if you do download this program, you might need to uh, do some other things, which there, and I will link in description to a tutorial video of where a chap, um, hmm, interesting, got a little curve there, got the edge of a roundhouse. Oh, there's another one now. Yeah, to, to where a chap explains some of the um, uh, 
uh, what they call them, uh, plugins. Some of the plugins you might need to use to be able to use this program. Right, cheers my lovers, cheers.